In this video, we're just showing how to reset the interface of uh, Control X. So many times what will happen is um, some of these palettes or flyouts will change. So if one of these is disappeared, but the flyout is still there, any of these, whether it's properties display or whatever, um, the best way to do it is this bottom line over here where you have all the filters and little measurement tools. If you click in that gray area, there's toggle ons and offs. So if the model manager is not there, um, then you can come over here and you can go through and then find a model manager and turn it back on or, you know, the help. So if I toggle that off and on, you can see that here. Um, and then another way that sometimes people get confused is they'll collapse the flyout which if that happens, you know, most people can figure this one out pretty easily, but you just come over here and repin it. Um, now, if things are completely missing and you can't get them back, um, so let's see here, help, you may have dragged it out by accident and then closed it. You can come over and you can go to help and it will pop up back where it was before. Now, when you click and drag it, you can do this. See that? And then you can now click and drag. Let's just pull it back off again. And you can come over here and say, I want to throw it all the way over in this right one. So you can see how you can drag it into these different spaces. But as you see, it can be very difficult to get it to respond the way you want to. So I pull this out and then put it there. Now, if it's totally messed up and you can't get it back to where, to where you want it to be, this is what I always show people. This will kind of reset the software because this happens where you may have clicked and dragged and you can't even figure out where things need to go anymore. You come over to C drive, you go to the install directory of, of Control X, 3D systems, Control X, licensing. And in there is this reset options tool. When you run that, it will do a registry clean. You, I mean, you can turn that off, but it'll clean, clean everything and then reset everything back to its defaults. I actually just usually run this two times. I don't, I don't know why that two times tends to work, but I actually will just run registry clean and then run it again one more time just to make sure that it didn't miss anything. Uh, so reset options. Then when you reopen the software, everything will be reset back to where it started out. So that's how you reset the interface with uh, Control-X.